Hi guys, welcome to my visual diary of my short time in Italy where I discovered the beautiful city of Rome, its friendly people and amazing food and I got to share it all with my favorite person. Our trip didn't start off smoothly as my phone crashed, leaving us unable to use it. It was a bummer because I couldn't get in touch with the taxi that I had booked, so it took us a bit of time to sort things out upon arrival. Nevertheless, we managed to overcome the hiccup. Despite having a bit of a rough day traveling, we finally made it to our hotel, the Naman Hotel, which is such a recommendation. We made it. <laughs> Following our delicious lunch, we decided to take a stroll around the city, admiring the charming stores and bakeries along the way. Eventually, we stumbled upon a French bookstore where we spent some time browsing through the diverse collection of books. I was pleasantly surprised by the variety they had to offer. I haven't seen such an extensive selection in any bookstore before. <laughs> We made the decision to visit a church and as soon as I stepped inside, I was left speechless. The ceiling was adorned with intricate frescoes that made the church appear even taller. <laughs> As we made our way back to the hotel, we couldn't resist on picking up some delicious gelato. We walked over to the iconic Trevi fountain. Yeah. We're going out. My phone is fixed. So that's great. Well, that was fucking scary. <laughs> On our second day, we decided to take it easy and enjoy a slower pace. After getting ready, we headed to Faro, a charming cafe with a great selection of healthy food options. I chose their avocado toast, which was surprisingly so delicious. I never thought about combining fruit with avocado toast, but the combination was a match made in heaven. Later on, we made our way to Villa Borghese Park. Although it was a bit of a cloudy day, that didn't stop us from appreciating the beautiful monuments scattered throughout the park. For dinner, we went at Tonarello, which had so many good reviews. We indulged in their delectable pizza and pasta dishes, and they did not disappoint. Wednesday was a bit more laid back <laughs> as I decided to film less, but we did manage to visit the iconic Colosseum and the Roman Forum. It was such a memorable experience. Overall, it was one of my favorite days of the trip. On our final day, we made sure to stop by Barnum, which turned out to be our absolute favorite cafe. The staff was incredibly polite, the coffee was top notch, and the pastries were so delicious.
With a bit of time to spare before our departure, we decided to browse through some vintage stores to pass some time. Finally, it was time to go. I had such a fun time in Rome. I hope you enjoyed coming along on this journey with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.